Welcome to this video. I am Vicki McDonald, Chair of IFLA's Professional Committee. IFLA is in the middle of an ambitious governance review. Our goal is to ensure we have structures that give us the best chances of delivering on our strategy, inclusively, effectively and transparently. I hope you have taken part in the two surveys we've held so far and that as many of you as possible will take part in the roundtables we are organising now. We really are relying on you to get this right. You can hear more about the overall process in the video from our President, Christine McKenzie. Today, I wanted to talk to you to, about IFLA's professional structure. That is not just the professional committee, but all of the units, sections, special interest groups, review groups and others, where so much of IFLA's work happens through our volunteers. We need to offer all of them, you, the opportunity and support to share your energy and experience most effectively to create projects and initiatives that support our profession as a whole. We have heard clearly from you that we need to do more to support our units, both to celebrate those who are active and help others to do more. We believe we can do this by making sure that each division chair has enough time to provide guidance and advice to each unit in their section and by using regular reviews to offer feedback and support. We need to find ways for IFLA to address emerging issues and create opportunities for leadership, especially for new professionals. We believe we can do this through creating new ways of tackling new topics and by encouraging new professional participation in every unit. We need to maximise participation by library and information workers from around the world. We believe we can do this by ensuring that a number of places on standing committees are reserved for members to be appointed through a transparent process in order to ensure regional diversity where this has not already been achieved by elections. But there's more to discuss. How should we organise groupings of units into divisions to make this most effective? How can we find the balance between retaining talent and creating spaces for new voices? And also, how can our professional structures work with the proposed regional council and regional divisions? I encourage you to watch the video by Gerald Leitner, our Secretary General, for more on this last point, as well as to look at the, all the working papers and questions and answers document to get an overview of our proposals. You can find these on our website, www.ifla.org Governance Review. I look forward to talking with you in the coming weeks. See you there.